In this video I'll show you how to work out angles, missing angles, in scaling triangles. But first I need to convince you how many degrees there are inside a triangle. That is to say, what do all the interior angles add up to? Well if you remember, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Now you're probably thinking, well what has that got to do with a triangle? Well, I'd like to try and show you that the angles inside this triangle can sit on this straight line. You're probably thinking, really, how on earth is that possible? They're never going to fit on a straight line. Well, I'll start by picking up this yellow angle. I'm going to move the yellow angle and sit it on the straight line that I've got down here. Okay. Then I'll take the blue angle and move that next to the yellow one and keep it in a straight line along with the yellow one. And now this orange one, how is this going to fit in? This isn't going to work, is it? I thought I was supposed to be showing you how to get it onto a straight line. Aha! Well if I take that angle and rotate it around and keep rotating until it fits into that gap. I wonder. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I just need to line things up a bit better. You can see that the three angles inside the triangle now lie on a straight line. Okay, it's gone. It's it, it needs moving back, but you hopefully you'll believe me. Here's one I made earlier. There we go, the three angles sitting on a straight line, A, B and C. Right, well now that we have that knowledge, maybe we can find missing angles inside a triangle. The thing about scaling triangles is that all the angles are different. So this angle, call it 100 degrees, is different to this angle, and let's call that 30 degrees, which is different to this angle, and now we don't know what that angle is, but we can work it out from the knowledge that all three of these together have to give us 180 degrees. So we've got the first angle which was 100 degrees which would take us up to more than halfway on this bar which by the way is worth 180 as you can see. And then we had another angle, the 30 degree angle which would take us up to about here. I wonder if then we can work out a way of working out what's left. Can you think of a way that we can figure out what the missing angle is? How do we work that out? That's the bit that we really want to know. We know that this is 100. We know that this is 30 but we're not sure what the rest is. Ah, it's now become obvious to me. The whole thing from here to here is 130 degrees. Can you see how I got that? I did 100 plus 30. 100 plus 30 is 130 degrees. So that accounts for the angle up here and the angle over there, and then to work out the missing one, I must have to do 180 subtract 130 and that tells me what goes in here. What do you get? 50 degrees. So the angle over here, the missing one, is 50 degrees. And let's just check when you add 50 to 100 to 30 you get 180. And that's how to find the missing angle in a scalene triangle. It works, of course, with missing angles in any triangle, as long as you've got two of them. And I'm going to make other videos that show you how to find angles in isosceles, right angle, and equilateral triangles. Thanks for watching. Bye.